In this video, we will see resistor as a voltage divider. If we have a voltage and if we connect this voltage with two resistors, if both the value is same, then these two resistors are dividing this voltage by two. That means in this point, we will get V in by 2 volt. We have to calculate the voltage from the ground side. It is negative and here it is positive. For an example, if we have 12 volt power supply, we have connected two resistors across the voltage. Then from the ground side, at this point, the voltage will be 6 volt. Again, if we take 12 volt and we have connected 3 resistors, now this 12 volt is dividing in 3 parts. From the ground side up to this, the voltage will be 12 divided by 3, it is equal to 4. So here we will get 4 volt, at this point we will get 8 volt and at this point we will get 12 volt. So this is how the voltage divider works and these all values are same. If all the resistor values are same then only we can say like this. Again we will see a circuit V in we have two resistors this is ground side this is positive this one R1 and R2 now the values are not the same then we have to see the output so we have a equation V out equal to V in multiplied by as we have to find out this voltage so we have to take R2 and this R2 is from ground to this output point divided by total resistance of the circuit that is R1 plus R2 with this equation we will get the V out voltage another circuit R1, R2 and R3. Let's take it as V2 and this one as V1. Now we have to find out the V2 that is voltage across the R3 and voltage across the R2 and R3 from the ground side. For the V1, V1 equal to V in multiplied by. Now we have to see what is the resistance from the ground side up to this point. So it is equal to from the ground side if you see then it is R3 plus R2. And total resistance of the circuit that is R1, R2 and R3. And to find out V2 that is voltage across the R3 it is equal to V in multiplied by it is only R3 so R3 divided by total resistance of the circuit R1 R2, R3. So this is how we have to design the voltage divider. If someone asked me to convert 5 volt to 3.3 volt, now I'll show you how I will do it. First I will take 
the 5 volt that is positive side and that is negative side then I will divide it by 3 as we know 5 divided by 3 is equal to 1.66 and if we multiply 1.66 by 2 then we will get 3.33 so I will use same value resistor let's say if we need more currents then I will use 100 ohms resistor then at this point obviously we will get 3.33 volt if you want to verify this circuit with the equation let's say I am using 100 ohms resistor V out equal to the equation is first I will write the equation V in multiplied by total resistance from the ground side as I have said before it is R1, R2 and it is R3 I am just naming it so total resistance from the ground up to the point it is R2 plus R3 divided by total resistance of the circuit R1 plus R2 plus R3 so V in is 5 multiplied by R2 plus R3 it is 100 plus 100 it is 200 and divided by 300 so it is 1000 by 300 10 by 3 and we know that it is 3.33 so this is how I am doing this voltage divider equation now whatever the input voltage first I divide in equal parts and then I see how to manage the output voltage you can take any other resistor value but you have to keep it equal then only this will work and then uh, combine all this if someone says uh, convert 12 volt to 9 volt then just divide 12 volt by 4 that means 12 divided by 4 it is 3 so 12 divided by 4 4 so we need 4 resistors in equal values at this point we'll get 9 volt at this point we'll get 6 volt and at this point we'll get 3 volt 3 6 9 and 12 we have divided it by four parts so let's say you are using 100 ohms resistor so 100 100 100 100 now verify this circuit with the equation as you are using equal resistance 100 100 100 100 so it is 300 from the ground side it is 100 plus 100 plus 100 it is 300 and total resistance will be 400 ohm and the input voltage is 12 volt so 12 multiplied by 3 by 4 4 3 3 multiplied by 3 it is 9 so this is how you can easily divide the voltages so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching